Hiya, I'm Pimmy. Um, and I am going to stick today. Um, I showed the um, stupidly warm and big sweater um, a couple of days ago. And um, I knit uh, the body as a complete tube with no shaping, like this. And um, today I am going to cut the opening for the um, sleeves, to fit the sleeves in. So I want to um, put the uh, uh, sleeves in um, a bit tactically to hide the... Um, change in the row where you have uh, the uh, pattern offset by one row um, and it's always yeah, it's always visible and that's in the sweater it's here and you see just a little break in the pattern and this pattern didn't um, uh, work out in the amount of stitches I had so I made um, a little block to uh, use up the extra uh, stitches uh, so that's going to come right in the armpit right under the on under the sleeve and that's going to be hidden by it and um, you can see it here a bit you see a, a blue line um, that I uh, basted and that is the size of uh, the stick I'm going to do. You can see it a bit better on the inside. And the blue line is a bit more visible. Um, so it's going to run from up here which is going to become uh, the shoulder down to here and um, next to uh, the uh, basted line which runs over the little um, bar between the uh, stitch rows of stitches um, and I, I went up like that and that those uh, bars is what I'm going to cut through and right next to it uh, on both sides is a line of uh, mini machine stitched uh, really small zigzag that I did so that's going to hold the uh, yarn in place so that it um, doesn't slip away from uh, the other stitches uh, once it's cut but um, if you think about it, if you unravel a yarn, a stitch wants to drop, but it doesn't ravel sideways all that easy, uh, especially not in um, a grippy wool. And this uh, hand spun and, and rather crimpy wool is very grippy, so it um, doesn't have a lot of... Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's not slippery, so it, it, uh, the stitches won't slip out of shape. Um, and I have no fear of cutting into this. I, I rather like um, doing a stick, but um, a lot of people are scared of it. So I thought, let's do um, a dramatic. Uh, vlog today and um, uh, let you uh, look over my shoulder while I cut into my hand spun hand knit sweater that I've been working on for uh, almost two years now so let's see if I can reposition the camera that shows what I'm doing need to be here. No, that's not visible yet. Here. Now I'm 
going to cut um, along the blue line and I have good sharp um, uh, fabric scissors and let's see where do I need to go I'm going to be here right in between the, the two rows of stitches The first bit is a bit difficult because I did some, um, what did I do? Um, oh, I did a, um, I purled a couple of rows. This looks a bit different. There is the first cut. You can start screaming now if you want. You see the um, line of, uh, of machine stitching is just next to both sides, next to where I'm cutting. And the blue basted stitch um, is uh, cut as well, but that's not important because I'm going to take that out anyway. last one and um, I uh, made a, a huge u-turn here so this bit is uh, machine stitched as well so now I have the um, armhole sticked and um, what I'll do next is that I am going to put these bits for the shoulder together and um, probably do a kitchener stitch um, or a mattress stitch uh, to, uh, put, to sew them together. And then I'll, I'll have the shoulder with a, a neck uh, line. But I need to do the other armhole as well. So more steaking. I like steaking. More screaming? Almost there. So that's enough. Um, once I've uh, sewn together the the uh, shoulder seams, then I'm going to um, uh, sew the um, edge of the sleeve onto here so that's going to be like this with just an edge of this and here the the bind off on the inside and uh, that gives it uh, some stability as well uh, so the um, uh, the the Oh, words. So the armhole won't stretch out and lose its shape. 
the both the sewing and the bind off uh, is going to uh, give it uh, some uh, structure and then if I've done that I'll pick up um, a row of of let me show you uh, on the on the back of the neck I'm going to pick up um, uh, stitches and, and knit um, a little standing collar that the side I'm going the point at the side I'm going to turn forward and sew on to the front of uh, the neckline so it's um, a, a, a band at the neck that's going to fold onto the, the front a bit and then this sweater will be finished and um, it's uh, uh, now warm enough for me to uh, walk around in a t-shirt so I'll probably not wear it uh, till um, uh, next winter but um, at least it'll be finished so that's it for, it for today and um, hope to see you tomorrow bye